a great start in SEC play for him. And, uh, you know, and I'll be honest that, you know, when we did our scheduling, we're at where we thought we would be at with the schedule that we had. Um, I knew that there was going to be a few tests in there. Uh, Memphis was definitely that. We were actually even down a match point there and came back and won. And I thought there was going to be a couple of teams on the schedule that might be, uh, because of their history, a little bit better um, than they are this year. And maybe they'll come on and, and, and do like they've done in the past once they get into their conference play. Um, but I was very confident that we would have a legit opportunity to be 14-0, and I'm proud of our team that, that we took care of business. And we, and we did that. Um, last Friday against Sanford, I thought we played the best match that we've played all year. And Sanford has uh, been to the NCAA tournament a few times in, in recent history. They're uh, typically at the top of their conference. Um, it was something that I was proud of the way that the team responded because it was one of the matches that when we went into it, we talked about how good Sanford was and what they could do. And, and I thought, uh, from the film session on that our team was very focused and we played very, very well. Everything was clicking in that night. Uh, our offense broke the school record for hitting percentage and then our defense was all over the place. You know, cat-like reflexes on the block, back row, we were just, uh, there was nothing that Sanford could do um, that evening to beat us and I felt like um, you, you know, as a coaching staff, we all said, if we play like that, we'd be very competitive in the SEC. So that was, that was good to see. Now, we come back on Saturday, we have a doubleheader with Lamar and Jackson State. Lamar, um, we played a little bit flat, um, but Lamar just is kind of in a funk right now and, and didn't give us much of a match. And then we turn around and play Jackson State. And I just felt like our team really had uh, kind of a lollygagging type of attitude. Instead of uh, shellacking a team like Jackson State, all of a sudden, we win the first set easy. And uh, one of the, the tough things mentally with, with volleyball is that when you beat a team really bad and then you switch sides, it's hard to convince the team that you're 0-0 zero, zero again. You know, we won 25 to 12, I believe, something like that. So it's like, how do you get them refocused and not walking out on the court thinking we have a 13-point lead? And all of a sudden, um, they get uh, Jackson State gets off to maybe a four and one, five and one head start that goes back and forth. We never get anything going, and you know, what we created was we went from taking Jackson State from a team that walked on the court and we were the only team in the tournament at that point that was undefeated in the tournament itself and Jackson State was, um, along with Lamar, were the two teams that hadn't won a match. So you got to think from a mental standpoint, on our home floor, they watched us play, they're thinking we're going to get creamed and also they beat us 25-23 in the second set and I haven't looked up to see how many sets Jackson State's even won this year, it hasn't been a ton. And so all of a sudden we bring a team mentality, uh, bring their confidence into it, they're thinking so, so, you're th so you're saying there's a chance, that's why all of a sudden they're, they're believing. And, but we, one thing too is the second set seems to be an issue for us. Uh, from, a, from a mental focus standpoint. Uh, where we've done, uh, I feel like, a good job as a team is when we come out in the third being more focused. We won 25-12, and then we won in the fourth set 25-5. That's really rare no matter who you're playing to win 25-5. So there, there was a disappointment that we even dropped a set to a team that we can hold to five points. 